Hello everyone, welcome to Scholarhead YouTube channel. In today's session, you are going to learn about C# -sharp property with the help of real world examples. So in the C# -sharp we use property to protect our field. But why we use the property in this session, you are going to learn about. If you are coming to the channel first time, I request you to please do subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you will not miss any update about such videos. So let's start with the session. Property. Property act as a wrapper around a field. And property used to assign and read the value from a field by using set and get accessor. So set accessor is used for setting the value to a field and get accessor is used to fetch the value from that field. A property can be created for a public, private, protected and internal field. So if you are defining a field as these access modifier so we can create a property for that one and unlike fields properties do not denote the storage location and even you cannot pass a property as a ref or out parameters so as a ref and out parameters we cannot pass the property to a method but a field we can pass so let's understand how we can create the property in c sharp so this is my console application the name is property here and i have the main method i have a user class so let's me create a field in my user class. So I'm creating a field in the user class, let's say private. And I'm using here, let's say first name. So this is my private field. And I want to set and get this private field value. So with that for property, I can do this one. So property we create as a public. So public, public and first name. And property contain, then if I specify the data type as well, like say, a string data type and data type here as well. I'm using here get and set. In the get, what we have to do, we have to return the value of the private field. So that is here, first name. In the set field, we have to set the value to this private field. First name equal to value. So value is a, a predefined field in the set accessor. So in this way, we have defined a property for the first name. And internally, this first name is wrapping this private field first name so directly we cannot set the value to this first name field even we cannot access the value now with the help of property get accessor we are reading the value and the set accessor we are setting the value so let's see how we are setting and how we are getting the value now let's create the object of the user class so user and object name is user here i'm just using a new user now just set the value user dot first name so using the property I'm setting the value, let's say I'm passing here my name as Shalendra. So it is calling the set accessor. And when you are trying to read the value, let's say I'm just reading its value console.write here. I'm just accessing here first name colon and I can use a curly braces zero and then it will be here the user dot first name. So now when you are accessing the value, it is going to call the set accessor. This way. Now let's run the program and see how we are getting the name. You can see I'm getting the first name as Shalendra. So in this way we have defined the property. So we have created a wrapper around the private field first name. Now let's see what are the uses of a property. Like why we should create the property. So property are used to validate the data before assign before assigning it to a field. So let's see what are the uses of a property like why we should create property so property protect a field by reading and writing means we cannot directly set the value of a field within a class and even we cannot read it directly now with the help of property we are doing that one and it is also help us to validate the data before assigning it to a field so if you want to apply some validation before assigning the value to a field we can apply in the property set accessor even it help us to perform the intermediate compute computation on data before assigning or retrieving it to a field so before returning the value if you want to perform some computation you can do even before uh, retrieving it value if you want to do some computation you can also do here even we can log all access for it so let's understand these uses with the help of example so let's see how we can apply a validation using the property on this first name field here so here what i can do in the set accessor i can check for the value let's say if let's say string dot is null or empty is a method for checking whether the value is null or empty 
if value is null or empty so here you can write your own code to throw the exception or whatever you want to do it's up to you or anything else so what i'm doing here i'm just throwing an exception here if the value is empty if value is not empty then set to the field first name so in this way we are validating the value before assigning it to the field so i'm using here throw then new exception new like we have exception null argument null exception now define your exception detail like value uh, value can't be null or empty so i can specify here let's say argument value cannot be null empty it will throw this exception if you will try to assign a null or empty value so here i am assigning the the perfect value let me change its from let's say user dot first name now i am assigning here empty now it will throw the exception because before assigning the value we are checking its whether it is null or empty now just run the program and you can see it is throwing the exception like argument value cannot be null or empty so instead of using this one we can wrap this code in the try catch block so that we can make it more perfect so try and the catch just wrap this code so what are the exception we will get here i can console it using the console dot write line so exception then message then we will show the message here so now run the program now before this it was breaking now it will not break it will show the output but it is saying here like value cannot be null so parameter name is argument value cannot be null here so we are getting the exception details here if you are trying to access the if you are trying to assign a null value to this one so in this way we can apply the validation here same way we can do here some intermediate calculation as well let's say i have a one more field here i'm just creating a full property so in which is true there is option for creating the full property so this code is nipped i can generate using this prop full now if we just press tab two times it will create a full property now just define the data type here i'm just using here let's say last name so it is automatically done all the changes here last name so last name so you can see here it's created the get it's created the set here so what i'm doing here i'm not assigning the empty value i'm just giving it full value so i'm just also commenting this one so this time i'm just showing the example of how we can perform some intermediate calculation i'm just using a user dot last name i'm assigning my last name let's say let's say we have here one more property with the name full name so we have a one more property with the name full name so what i'm doing i'm just defining a list string and it is here full name so it is here full name but this full name is a read only property i'm not setting here set so because the first name and the last name we are setting here using the different property so the first name last name we will set using this one so directly here i'm just going to return the full name field but we are not setting this full name field so this full name field we can set using the first name here so what i can do i can do here let's say full name so just write in the name line here. let's say full name equal to it will be here first name plus i'm putting here a space plus last name this i'm not writing in the setter and here also just do the same thing in the last name i'm doing like this way so full name i'm setting through the first name property and the last name property so if you will try to get the full name so full name i will get here because it's a get accessor it will be here read only property i can only read the value i cannot set the value to this full name property using this method now let's see what the full name we have here so now just use a console dot right line i'm using here let's say my full name colon and just try to access here user dot full name now run the program so you can see here i'm getting the my full name as shalendra chauhan so it is working perfectly here so what we have done using the the full name property we are returning the full name here so here we are just doing some intermediate calculation so this is the role of the property we can in this way we can use the property to perform the validation to perform some intermediate calculation same way you might have a dob field in the database and you want to return the age like current age 
uh, to the user so we can create a age property and in the age property we can write the logic to find out the user age so this is also the one of the example we can handle with the alpha property here types of properties so let's see what are the different types of properties we have in c sharp in c sharp we have read write property we have read only we have write only and we have auto implemented properties so these are the various types of properties we can create in c sharp so in the read write property we have get and set both accessor you have to define and read only property we have only get accessor or you can define the set accessor as private in the write only property we have only set accessor or you can define the get accessor as private and in auto implemented property we have both get and set accessor without implementation so in case of read write we have to define the get accessor get and set accessor with implementation but in auto implemented property you can define the get and set accessor without implementation so let's see how we can create these various types of properties here so here i have a console application with the name types of property and here i'm just creating a class uh, let's say user and in the user class i can create a full property using the and the virtual studio snip and again i'm using the same example let's i'm using a name this time so you can see here this is the example of a read write property because we have the get accessor with implementation we have the set accessor with implementation so this is the example of for read write property but let's say if you are defining a property with only set accessor not with the get accessor so let's say i'm just defining here uh, i'm just going to copy the same here so let's say i'm adding a, a property here let's say date time i'm using here let's say uh, d o b date of birth i'm using here. let's say d o b so this is d o b i'm using here let's say date time so d o b i'm just set just using here as a write only because i don't want to return its value i'm using here only for setting the date of birth because we are not showing the user to the date of birth we are showing to the user the age so this is the write only property it is here write only property because we have only set accessor we can create the read only property only so let's say uh, we have a property for displaying the age so we have here read only in the read only i'm just using here let's say integer age and here i'm just using an integer and age so what i'm doing here i'm just returning the age here so we are just returning the age here so this is a read only property because we have here only get accessor we have here only set accessor and here we have both accessor it's a read write only property and we have here one more example for auto implemented property let's say we are adding a property here property so by default it is a auto implemented property so i can do here i can define a string and i can define it as a full name so this is the auto implemented property because here we have get and set accessor but we are not implementing this auto implemented property and in case of auto implemented property these field like private fields are created by the c sharp compiler so internally the c sharp compiler will create a private field for assigning the value for this full name property wrap wrapped field but that wrapped field we cannot access so we cannot access the created field for this full name property by the compiler but in case of name dop and the age we can access all these field because these field we have created by ourselves but in case of auto implemented property the fields will be created by the compiler and that field will be in control of compiler we cannot control so this is the example of auto implemented property in the shortcut syntax now we use auto implemented property if we are not having any uh, validation logic if you don't have any computation logic for returning the value or like for setting the value so if you don't have any the logic here just go with the auto implemented property so generally when we write the models in our application we maximum time we will use the auto implemented property but further based upon our requirement we can customize it so this is about the types of property in c sharp thank you for watching this video if you like this video please do share with your friends and the colleague and also do subscribe to scholar head youtube channel and click the bell icon
so that the information about such video you will get automatically